This video will attempt to show the biggest flaw in the Panasonic DMC GF1. That flaw is that the auto ISO and intelligent ISO settings will use ISO 100 unless the shutter speed is 1 30th of a second or less in the picture priority, aperture priority, and full manual modes. The only mode that the auto ISO and intelligent ISO work in is the shutter priority mode which is not available with manual focused lenses. In this clip I am using an f1.4 manual focus legacy lens in the aperture priority mode with the auto ISO setting enabled. As I adjust the exposure up, the ISO setting increases. However, the shutter speed stays fixed at 1 30th of a second. If I adjust the exposure down, then the shutter speed will increase. However, the ISO stays fixed at ISO 100. Increasing the ISO in this situation would enable the camera to use a faster shutter speed. This basically renders auto ISO and intelligent ISO useless in aperture priority mode. This next clip shows that adjusting ISO manually yields the correct exposure and allows me to use a higher shutter speed to prevent blurring in low light situations. However, adjusting ISO manually is not an efficient process. It requires too many button presses. If I use full manual mode, then I cannot use auto ISO or intelligent ISO. However, the camera shows me how much my exposure is off, which allows me to make quick adjustments to the shutter speed to correct the exposure. I typically use full manual mode with manual focus lenses because auto ISO and intelligent ISO don't work in other modes. Even with the micro four thirds lenses like the 20mm f1.7 and 14 to 45mm zoom lens, the auto ISO and intelligent ISO settings do not work properly. In aperture priority mode, the ISO will not go above 100 unless the shutter speed is 1 30th of a second or less. The only mode where auto and intelligent ISO work is shutter priority mode with micro four thirds lenses. In this mode, it will allow you to increase the shutter speed above 1 30th of a second and automatically select an ISO above 100. However, this mode is disabled for legacy lenses so you cannot properly take advantage of all the cheap fast glass that is out there. Even with an f1.4 lens in a well-lit living room, I can't get a reasonable shutter speed for taking pictures of a subject that is not fixed in place, because the auto ISO and intelligent ISO settings do not operate properly. At the very least, Panasonic should issue firmware that starts increasing ISO when you go below 1 80th of a second instead of 1 30th of a second. That would allow us to use a more reasonable shutter speed with the auto and intelligent ISO settings. However, the ideal solution is to allow us to set the point at which the auto and intelligent ISO settings start increasing the ISO. Hopefully Panasonic will correct this problem for those of us who have the GF1 and hopefully the upcoming Panasonic GH2 will not have this issue.